So if you've watched one of my desk setup videos before, you'll know that I take my desk very seriously. It's the place that I spend most of my time outside of the office working as a corporate lawyer, video creator, and founder. But Beth is quite a bit thriftier than me. You spent how much on a headphone stand? So I've always struggled to get her to invest in making her desk setup really work for her. She had this rubbish old monitor that barely worked and a cheap hand-me-down keyboard that I bought about 10 years ago as a student myself for about £15. So Beth challenged me to help her create an upgraded desk setup, but on a budget. £500 to be precise, although I will be throwing in a few optional extras along the way, which bring the total to more like £700. But being the fan of tech that I am, I obviously said yes to this challenge and I'm hoping that this will mean her desk actually stays tidy from now on. So let's do this. Alrighty, so first up is the monitor, which is the Asus Zenscreen MB249C. I really think this is the perfect student or remote worker monitor and perfect for Beth as she travels tons with work, so can take this light, thin monitor with her. Now, it does cost £379 in the UK, which may seem like a lot for a budget desk setup, but your monitor really is the heart of the setup, and this thing packs a whole lot of punch for that investment. Now, I should say that Asus is sponsoring this video, but Beth and I have genuinely been blown away by this monitor since she's been using it and I now steal it sometimes. So first up, quality. And the quality of your monitor, I think, has a massive overall impact on the feel of your desk setup. Whereas I need two monitors for my job as a lawyer, I think for most people one is actually plenty alongside their laptop screen. So investing in a quality picture is well worth it. And the MB24 definitely has that with its 23.8 inch full HD IPS display with anti-glare surface coating. It also has flicker free technology and a blue light filter to protect your eyes. But where the MB24 really is worth the money is in its versatility. So it comes out of the box with an integrated carrying handle which doubles as a kickstand and a partition hook kit if you're really limited on space. And I would say that just the C-clamp, which can stay on your desk, quite adjustable and has Z-axis movement, would easily set you back $50 to $100. The monitor is also extremely slim and weighs just 2.8 kgs, meaning it's the only monitor I've seen so far that at this size is actually portable. All this means that the MB24 can be on Beth's desk while she works, then can quickly be unclipped and brought upstairs for us to work on Menos together. For students, it was easily double as a TV for lazy hungover days in bed or productive days watching Liam Pirate videos, as it also has built in stereo speakers with an amplifier, which most monitors generally don't have. All this comes in paper-based packaging and meets energy style requirements, so overall it's a really solid and versatile monitor and one of the items I think it's well worth spending some real money on. Next up, docking station. So this isn't entirely necessary, but I did manage to find this Cellor docking station for just £88 from Amazon. And this was an item that Beth specifically wanted because she has a MacBook Pro with just two USB-C ports and she has got sick and tired of using a really rubbish dongle that always seems to sporadically decide not to work. So this is one of the most affordable docking stations out there and comes with all the ports you could possibly need, including SD card readers, and fast USB 3.1 ports. For the price, it's actually a really impressive bit of kit. My only criticism would be that both the USB-C ports are on the front, so you get these messy wires sticking out the front of the thing when it's plugged into your laptop and the monitor. Kind of annoying, but other than that, overall well worth the money. So if you're going to have a single monitor set up, I really think you need a laptop riser next to it. And I've gone here for the 12 South Curve laptop riser, which is this really elegant, sleek looking metal aluminium, I think, designed frame that rises your laptop to the level of the monitor for just £39. It feels really quality, gives you that extra bit of screen real estate alongside your monitor to have your email or Teams open on one screen while you work on your main monitor. So yeah, highly recommend. And then my final very cheap bit of screen infrastructure is the Delhi DigiCord organizer for £1.20 each. These guys, I get six pack for £7, allow Beth to keep all of the cables really tidy and easily accessible on the edge of her desk and avoid having the wire like splayed across her desk or falling down behind her desk, just keeping them there nice and neat and tidy. 
Okay, now to the rest of the desk, and we're gonna go with an optional extra now, which is the base layer that goes across the desk. And this is the Orbit Key desk mat for 69 pounds. Now, this is the medium size. It's a really good size, really high quality, and I think probably the cheapest one available that I could find of a really good quality, at least. Look, I don't think it's essential, but it does look and feel kind of nice. So if you have the money, go for it. And on top of that, Beth has decided to go for the Cinder keyboard and mouse combo for £48. And this gives a kind of Mac-y look. Beth wanted a keyboard and mouse that she could take and use on any computer at work. So she wanted USB and Bluetooth connectivity. And this keyboard provides both of those at the same time. It is a quarter of the price of the Apple combo. So no complaints there. And the key action on the keyboard is actually pretty impressive. It's good, pretty quiet. And I've got to say a pleasant relief for me because because Beth decided to use a mechanical keyboard for quite a while and the sound literally drove me mad when I was working at home with her. So yeah, overall, not bad. I think the mouse is kind of rubbish. And there was some controversy here as I felt the better option, which Beth rejected for strong technical reasons. All right, I think this is the perfect keyboard. Oh, I'm not sure. What? It's got round buttons. Seriously? <sighs> Fine. You also don't get this one. You. Would, despite <laughs> Beth's technical analysis, would have been a Logitech K380 keyboard, which is £35, and a Logitech MX Anywhere 2S mouse for £39. Nice. You like that? That's actually not yours. You get the budget version. What? <laughs> I like this one. For me, these two are a slightly more premium alternative to the Cinder option that Beth's gone for that sits in between the Cinder and my £200 MX Keys and MX Master 3 combo. Next up, we're gonna add a plant to the desk for an essential bit of greenery. And I'm not entirely sure how much this costs because honestly, it was a gift to me that Beth has kind of commandeered because I already have a piece lily on my desk, but let's call it around 15 pounds for one of these. Honestly, plants in your office are an absolute must. If you've ever watched one of my desk setup videos before, you'll already know that. So I'm gonna move on. Next, we have the Anchor Wireless Charger for £15. Now, this is not MagSafe, but works perfectly with Beth's iPhone 12. So if you have an iPhone 13 or under, I think this will work for you, but it doesn't seem to charge my iPhone 14 Pro. Alrighty, next up, an absolute must have. Well, actually, probably in the context of a desk other video, more of an optional extra. It's a Menos backpack for 67 pounds. The perfect desk setup obviously isn't complete without a backpack to transport all of your essential tech between your home, office, and work. And the Menos backpack made from 15 recycled plastic bottles looks stunningly minimalist, perfect for the student or commuter, and it doesn't break the bank at 67 pounds with free UK and EU delivery. It has a laptop sleeve, notepad pouch, pocket, Kits, water bottle holder plus unlike top loaders it opens 180 degrees so you can easily pack your weekend essentials or reach something at the bottom of your bag and yeah i do just really like this backpack to be honest i'm not entirely sure why i'm pulling a kind of ironic face but this is just audio so you can't see that but yeah menos also collect 100 ocean bound plastic bottles collected by local people in developing coastal communities who are paid for their work and plant a tree with every single purchase plus viewers of this channel get an exclusive 10 percent discount on their backpack so head down through the link in the description and go and get your menos backpack now and now we are on to lighting alexa turn on beth's desk so first up, the All Wolf Light Bar. Not sure how you're supposed to say that, but this is 38 pounds. And as you guys know, I'm a big fan of the BenQ screen bar, but it is one of the more expensive items in a desk setup. And I really couldn't justify spending another 100 pounds in this budget desk setup. So I've managed to get this much cheaper alternative, which comes with backlighting and a wireless controller. And honestly, I am hugely impressed. I don't think the build quality is that much worse than the BenQ and the remote works pretty decently and for a third of the price I very very highly recommend this. The BenQ perhaps has a touch better build quality but especially if you're on a budget if you want an even light spread across your desk this is a must buy. The next bit of lighting we're going for are the Govi LED strip lights and not much more to say than these are I think the best strip lights out there for $19.99. You get plenty of strip lights to go around your desk and I really like the usability of the Govi app. Alexa, turn on Beth's desk strip light. Okay. 
Penultimate bit of lighting is the IKEA Finstar lamp for £15. Simple design, Beth and I have had these for ages. They work really well to give a nice warm glow across your desk. Pretty timeless, minimalist, Scandi design. I quite like them, nothing special, but worth 15 quid. And then finally, and these are definitely an optional extra, the Govi LED light bars at £42. And when Beth found out that I spent another £42 on light bars, I was in the doghouse because she said this wasn't very budget. But I've included them because for the price, they are one of the more budget smart lighting options out there and combined with the old wolf's backlighting can really lift a workspace that's up against a wall. Plus, Beth's desk is often behind me in videos, so I felt like an extra pop of colour in the background would be a cool addition. Alrighty, and now we're into the finishing touches. So, next up we have a bamboo phone stand for £5. From a productivity perspective, I would generally recommend people actually don't have one of these, but Beth regularly needs to see her messages while she's working, as a huge part of her job is replying to people and looking at messages and giving people information, so that's quite specific to her. And Beth combines that with a £7 bamboo pen pot, also quite nice looking, goes pretty well with the shade of her desk. Next up we have a half and half cork board and whiteboard for £16. These are stuck on the wall right by Beth's desk using the 3M velcro strippy things that you can use to stick things to the wall if you're renting. Highly recommend those also. And she uses this for visibility on her to-do list and generally pinning things to her board. Back into some more techie stuff and she uses the WD 2TB Elements hard drive for £57 just because it is the most budget long term storage option out there. In terms of headphones, because this is a budget desk setup, Beth wanted me to mention the Orky in-ear earphones which I bought around three years ago for £25. They're okay and I'm not even sure that Amazon sell these anymore but there are a whole bunch of headphones you can buy for around £25 and I think they're okay but honestly I think AirPods are just so much better. So you can get the second gen Apple AirPods for £109 or the third gen for £159. I bought Beth the third gen for her birthday and I really do think that something like AirPods makes the perfect present so if you can save up or you can wait until a birthday or Christmas to get some properly good headphones I really highly recommend it. And then the last couple of items, Beth has this blue sippy cup that she likes to keep on her desk. She says that it helps her to drink water and she's rubbish at drinking water generally. So that seems to have helped. And if you can find a way to drink more water, it massively boosts productivity. So it's a generally positive thing. And last of all, the sweet jar, just because, you know, it looks kind of cool. And who doesn't like sweets? So yeah, that is Beth's brand new budget desk setup, costing all in around £700. And I should mention that I'm working on the assumption that you already have a desk, but in case not, Beth has the Bacant IKEA corner desk with white stained oak, which costs £270, and the IKEA Marcus chair, which is £150, bringing her total desk setup costs to around £1,000. But you could build your desk setup up over years, gradually improving elements here and there. And I do think that the tech I've shared in this video is some of the best budget desk setup tech out there. If you've enjoyed this, please do give this video a like and drop me down a comment if you have one piece of essential budget tech that you would want to add to this desk setup. I really look forward to speaking again very, very soon.